Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be an idea I got from Amelia Rose. She has a YouTube channel called Amelia Rose's Closet and recently did a video entitled The Five Luxury Bags I Have Never Used or something very similar to that. And when I saw it, I realized I have several bags that I have never used. So Amelia Rose didn't start this as a tag video, but I want to continue it as a tag video. And I asked her permission and she said, sure. So I would like to tag several people and I will put you down in the description box if you were tagged. But if I don't tag you, please feel free to do the tag anyway. It's all in good fun. And I would love to hear all about everybody's bags that they've never used. If you don't have a channel, tell me in the comments section which bags you have that you've never used and tell me why. Because I think it's kind of fascinating to figure out why some things work in your wardrobe or how they work in your wardrobe. I just went through my collection of around 100 bags and found eight bags that I had never used. So I'm doing pretty well, all things considered, but there is definitely room for improvement. And so I thought today I would show you those eight bags and tell you to the best of my ability why I haven't used those particular bags versus some of my other ones. But first, I want to show you my bag of the day. It is the Beautiful Powder Longchamp Brioche Bag, and this is in the medium size, which the sales associates often say is the large size. It's a very pale pink. The way you can tell if you're getting the size that I have or a different size is that my Brioche is the only one that has two leather bits at the top of the chain to make wearing it on the shoulder or crossbody more comfortable. The next size down just has one of the leather bits. Anyhow, I have her all packed and we have went nowhere, but you can see she matches my shirt and my nails need to be done, but she matches my David Yurman ring, which has morganite with rose gold and diamonds and silver as well. And I have a rose gold pendant that I had custom made, as well as some earrings that I had custom made from Newton's Jewelers and Morgan Jonathan Jewelry. I will be coming at you soon with some more jewelry from Morgan Jonathan. He does fantastic work and I will have a discount code and I think it'll be fun to kind of switch things up and show you some pieces that maybe everybody else isn't showing you. But let's get started and I will show you some of the pieces that I've never used. The first one I want to show you is my black pillow tabby. I worked so hard to get this bag. I will link my pillow tabby videos down in the description box, but I had to order three different ones to get one where the flap was acceptable to me and it's still not perfect. But what is perfect anyway? A little dusty actually. Whew. You know, if I'd been wearing it, maybe it wouldn't have dust on it. But the reason why I had to have this is I saw other people posting pictures of it on Facebook and it looks so pretty and so elegant. And I have so many straps that go with black and gold. I had to have it. And now I have it and I'm not using it. That's why I need to seriously think about whether or not to buy black and gold bags because I just don't wear them all that often and I have enough. I really do. I mean, if you go back and look at my color collection video, I did one with all my black bags. I can link that down below as well. You'll see I have just a few to choose from. Next is another black bag. Are you noticing a trend? This is the beautiful Kira from Tory Burch in the small size. It's the top handle satchel and has the raffia stripe woven into the leather. I think this bag is gorgeous. It's a work of art. When I very first saw it, I was in love, but I was not in love with the price tag, which is still attached. And this bag was originally, I think it says $6.98, but my eyes may deceive me given that I'm 45 years old and I can't see without reading glasses for reading. This bag, I love it. It's gorgeous. I just haven't used it. I think for a black bag, this is more of a summer bag because of the raffia. And I did get it kind of in the fall, I believe. So maybe she'll come out to play more whenever the weather starts to get warmer or hotter. Maybe June, July, August is her time of the year. 
next to something I absolutely had to have, and it was this Chanel DIY cosmetic bag. I stalked the internet to get one of these. It came with the cologne in the lip balm or the hand cream in the lip balm. I ended up selling a couple of these because I really only wanted one and I got three sets. I was one of the lucky ones. I stalked the internet until I got the sets I wanted. I wanted to give my boys both the cologne for Christmas. So I got two of the sets with this bag with the cologne and lip balm and then one for me with the hand cream and lip balm. Anyhow, when I went to use this bag for the first time, it was just a tiny bit too small for me, but I can make it work. I just haven't chosen to do so. So why is that? I don't know. I mean, I have so many beautiful bags. Maybe a DIY pouch is not my thing, but it sure does look pretty on the shelf. I do love it and I have it in my luxury bag cabinet. So it's not that I don't think it's beautiful and I'm not going to get rid of it, but I just don't know if I'll use it. Next is this beautiful Stella Vitello in Dark Beige by Teddy Blake. And I showed you this in yesterday's video. I was gifted this bag. It is made out of Italian leather. It's very well made. It has a cute strap that I was able to remove in the video where I did the unboxing. And I can link that video down below. I also show how much fits in it in that video. I think this is adorable. I love how it gives you Bottega Veneta vibes. I just haven't used it. And again, I think it's because for me, smaller bags tend to be more for warmer weather. And so I'm leaning more towards bigger bags right now because I'm wearing bigger clothing, perhaps. I feel like the bigger bags may slim me down a bit. And in the summertime, I don't want a big heavy bag on me because it's going to stick to me and it's going to make me hot where it's resting on my body. So I think again, that I'm gonna wanna use this and reach for it once the weather gets warmer. This next bag that I've never used is the Tally in chalk. And this one's by Coach. I think it's beautiful. I love the feel of the leather. I've used my black Tally and my papaya Tally and I used the red orange Tally, which I did sell. I just decided on that one. I didn't need two orange tallies and they were different shades, but they both still had orange in them. This chalk one, I bought it because of the strap. I love the strap. I've got the chalk Cassie 19. I wanted the strap for that. I also love the thicker strap that comes with it. That's all leather with the grommets. Again, I love that with my chalk Cassie 19, as well as my studio bag. It looks great with both of those. So this was a bag purchased for some strap action. And I love the style of the bag, so I figured I would use the bag, but I just haven't done it yet. And I don't really want to sell it because I would want to sell it strapless. And she needs a strap, so she's in my collection but has never been used. I love chalk bags, so I think she will get used. She just hasn't been on a journey yet. Some of these, it's hard to remember if I've used them or not, but one of the ways that I can tell is if they still have some tissue paper because I always pull that out when I go to use the bags the first time. This is the Chalk Soft Pebble camera bag. It came with this web strap and no other strap, so I would use the tally strap with this bag or the strap that it came with, or I could use the Cassie 19 strap with it. I've got so many straps. I could use the studio bag strap with it. I think these little camera bags are great. They hold a lot. They're very, they're very kind of, I mean, even though they're not super skinny, they're pretty low profile. They're great for wearing on outings when you want something carefree that's not super heavy or super big to bump into everything. But I did buy six of these and I've worn a few of them. I've enjoyed it. I think she'll make a trip out, but I just haven't done it yet. And could it be that it's chalk? I don't think so because I've used my studio bag recently in chalk. I guess I think the reason why I haven't used this one is because I would tend to go for this for more outdoor type activities. And since it's winter, I'm not really doing the whole outdoor thing. These are great to go somewhere where you may be walking around and you wanna have your bag strapped to you. When you sit down, it's gonna just rest in your lap. I look at the Cassie 19s in a very similar way and this is about the same size as one of those bags. So 
perhaps the opportunity just hasn't arisen since I went on my camera bag buying frenzy. And I will make sure to link that playlist down below as well. I saved the two fanciest ones for last. Well, I guess the Kira is pretty fancy, but this one you've seen recently. This one is the Rogue shoulder bag in the Oxblood color. It is absolutely stunning. It was the Love at First Sight video where I featured it recently. But this bag, I love it. But by the time I got it, I was kind of done wearing Rogue bags. I sold all of my Rogue bags that have the top handles, but I kept the four Rogue shoulder bags that I like the best, and all four of them have this beautiful C-chain on them. I think that these are made like a luxury bag, and I think that the craftsmanship is gorgeous, and because I'm kind of a handbag fanatic, yeah, I think I could classify myself as a fanatic anyway, I feel like I need these in my collection because they are beautiful and they are a work of art. And I don't think Coach is making them quite as well in most cases these days. These are lined in leather on the side pockets. And then the center pocket is in the 1941 premium Coach woven material. And I haven't used it. I don't know if I ever will. And the story's going to be the same for the next one, but for a different reason. This this style bag is extremely functional. It is lightweight. It holds a good amount. It has all the beautiful details, but maybe the reason I haven't used it is because it's just a little bigger than most of my other bags. That could be it. I don't know. It's really hard to say. I'm not sure. I think I've moved on from the style, but I'm not willing to let it go because I'm so fascinated by the craftsmanship. Last but not least is this beautiful Rodarte bag that I also featured in my Love at First Sight video. This bag has the leather sequins on it. It was a collaboration between Coach and Rodarte. I love it. I'm not gonna get rid of this one. I haven't grown out of it. I've just never worn it. I may never wear it. I think it's a work of art. And I have a few of those pieces in my collection that I just enjoy to look at. And this is this is definitely one of them. The Rogue Shoulder Bag, I love to look at it too, but not to the extent that I like to look at this one. This one fascinates me. I mean, if it was a painting or a picture that I could hang on the wall, like, a piece of leather with all this intricate leather work ditched into it, I'd probably be interested in that as well. It doesn't have to be a handbag. I just love all the details on this gorgeous piece. Can you see the sweat on my lip? This closet gets so hot, so I'm dying. I just wanted to show you my eight bags in my closet that I have never worn and try to explain why. Hopefully my explanations make sense. Um, if not, feel free to ask me a question down in the comments and make sure to check my description box. I do put lots of information down there, including product links when they are available, as well as a bunch of future video suggestions that you may or may not have seen that are related to what I talked to today. So if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. If you haven't found me on Instagram, go do it. My name is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I hope to see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.